Hello friends, welcome to Take Two for this Wednesday, the 31st of May. Wow, last day of the month, 2023. I'm Jeannie. I'm so glad that you have decided to come along for the ride on this hump day. And also a very, very happy special fifth birthday to my special little nephew, Thomas Franklin. May this be your best year ever. Well, you know, there's a, a lot of variations to the story that I'm about to tell you. It's quite a popular story that's told in South America, in Africa, and Asia. It's where the natives have devised a very special and distinct way of trapping monkeys. Now, this plan is, is very deceptive, but it's very simple. See, the natives take a gourd or a coconut, some other object like that, and they will drill a hole in it just big enough for the monkey to put his hand or her hand in to pass it through and then they put inside the object they put a piece of fruit or they put a nut or something not only will it weigh it down but it'll also attract the monkey and they'll want to get it now when they put it in there they tie the item back up to a tree and make it secure or to a rock so that when the monkey puts his hand inside uh they to get the food well, with it in his hand and in his grasp, it, they can't get the hand back out again. The hole is too small for the monkey's hand to pass through while holding the treat. Okay, and it becomes too heavy, and the and the creature can't carry it. Well, so the monkey will not let go of its prize and becomes trapped. So it's the animal has to give up his freedom to hold on to that special piece of food or that special treat. It seems obvious that all the monkey would have to do is let go of the bait so to escape, but because the monkey views this possession as his or hers and not willing to let go, the monkey is trapped and loses freedom. Are you catching on to what I'm saying so far? Yeah, that's it. There he goes. I'm not letting go. That's what he's saying. Now, it's, uh, it's easy, it's easy to see how foolish this is and to keep holding on to something that really isn't worth that much. The monkey is making a very poor trade-off. His freedom for a prize that wouldn't be difficult to find somewhere else in another less threatening location, but that animal is blinded by its attachment to the treat. It all comes down to greed. What do we do? What is your what is your specialty? What is your coconut? What is your gourd out there? Do you hold on to things like that because you don't want to let go? Holding on to something is more important than your freedom, than your happiness. I'll bet there are lots of things that you could think about in your life that would be much less important, but you won't let go of it, even though it means you not having your freedom anymore. You just want to hold on. Oh, I got to hold on to that person. I got to hold on to that, that possession of mine. I've got to hold on to this, even though it's stopping you from having complete and total freedom in your life. Don't be foolish. Don't be like that silly monkey, that silly monkey who's saying, I'm not letting go. Don't be a monkey. <laughs> if there's something out there that you're holding on to, all you got to do is let go so you can take your hand out of that trap. Don't be trapped any longer. Weigh the good against the bad. Is that bad more important than the good of my freedom? Think about it. If there's something you need to let go of, this is probably the time that you should think about doing that. Now listen, go out and be a blessing to somebody today because you may end up being the only one who is. And don't forget always, please, if you haven't done it so far, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. I'll let you know when another Take Two is posting. And not only that, 
but I would really appreciate any encouraging comments you can throw my way. I try to answer every single question that's sent to me and every other, every uh, comment that's made for me. I try to make sure that I keep in touch with everybody who makes the effort to get in touch with me. I make the effort to get back in touch with you. Now listen, don't forget also to tune into my radio program, UltimateOldiesRadio.com every Saturday at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, AM and PM. You can hear my program through the eyes of a New York woman. And you could hear an encore presentation at oldie700.com, oldie700.com every Sunday at 4 Central, 5 Eastern, AM and PM. All right, you be blessed. Have a great, enjoy the last of this day of May. And happy birthday, Thomas Franklin. We love you so much. And remember, don't hold on to some silly little prize. Don't be a monkey. I love you. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.